According to a recent report released by the United Nations, Nigeria has a growing population of 200 million people. 70% of that population are young people and 36% out of that population still are unemployed youth. So what that means is that Nigeria's government cannot single-handedly provide for every youth in this nation. The earlier young people began to look for ingenious ways of providing for themselves, maybe the better. And so on this episode of Stories from the Slum, we feature a young man, 18-year-old Vincent Chiemila Obi, who built electrical cars from metals, wires and cartons he picks around from his cuisine. electrical car building start? How did it start? It started from my childhood, you know, when I was still in primary school. So I was dreaming high and I was achieving high. So I told myself that I'm going to go to technical school because I'm technically inclined. Somehow all these bulbs in our house, they may get spoiled. I will fix them by my own self. So I told my parents that I'm going to, a I'm going to go to a technical school. So where I can learn my handwork and be perfected in it. So they did so. But when I got to the school, they didn't talk me on aspects. Which school is that? Government Technical College, okay. So they didn't talk me on technical aspects. It was an electrical aspect they were teaching me, but the main thing I want to know is how to fix one or two things in a car, how to how the engine works, how they steer and everything. But they were teaching me all these things. So I said to myself that I know what I came to achieve. So I said that if they don't want to teach me, let me teach myself. So I depended on myself. So I was started on how to use carton and just do a small car. I'll just do it and just put it little engine. So I'll just put it wire and battery. I mean fold it in the back. I'll just connect it with the battery because it has wire on the bottom. So I'll be folding it in the back. Or the car don't reverse. So I went on a research in the internet. I didn't see what I was trying, so I said, let me help myself. So I brought some olden radios, olden days radios that is in our house. So I brought out some particles from it. So I went to dictionary and I looked for the whole particles and I know all their works, both the transistor, the resistor, the wire, the battery. And I figured out what they function in a circuit board. So I just brought all this game all these television games that children used to play. Yes. So I brought the game and I converted the pad because it's a pad game. Mm. You no more play games, it's control the car. So it uses radio transmission. So, and the transmission moves through um, radio wave. So I will transmit information through this wire. It will receive through the antenna that is standing in the front of the bullet. So that's why it goes around everywhere. So because of this, it can go as far as 15 meters away Okay. and reverse back. Mm. So I'll just be here, be controlling it, it will just be going far, reverse, and the steering will be turning. Mm. Just be like an exact car. So that's what I, that's how I started. So I just tried, but it cost a lot of money. I was busy borrowing my mom money because I didn't have anything doing then. I was still a student. My mom depended on me and he was giving me any amount I asked her. Because she knows that on a very good day, things will get better. Mm. So I just started. Started from the tires. I just designed all these tires because they are rubber. It's made of rubber. Oh, okay. Rubber. Mm. Yeah. So it was customized for yeah, you? Yeah, customized. A lot of money. So this is the steering. It gives the car directions mm. through the remotes. So this is the left. This is the right. 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 So it gives the car direction on where to move. So this is the throttle. Because the car is four-wheel to drive. Mm. The four tires is working. That's it. Mm -hmm. So here is the transmission. Because why I pass from here to the direct engine at the back. Just designed all of them and I took it to a plastic company. 
and I told them that the rim will be plastic, then the tire will be rubber. So they molded four of them, I paid them. So I How bought 7,000 mm. for the four of them. So I bought an OG days radio. So I told myself that this radio is spoiled, but I can pick some good things in it. So I picked up some particles of the radio contents, like resistor capacitor and all the wires, go the transformers. So I just write all the name in in the paper. So I went into the dictionary to find out their functions and how they work. So once I found out how they work and how their functions, so I just put all of them together. So I just brought a pad, pad that children used to play games, television games. So I converted the pad. It's no more play games. It's control the vehicle. So that's how I come to the wireless aspect. So I just bought batteries and put it and worked on it. And I do the electrical wiring both sides me everywhere. I was the one who wired and painted all of them from A to Z. Mm. So when I finished my first wireless work, so I clapped for myself. <laughs> no. Yeah, I even say, me. <laughs> I must clap for, for you too because you're doing a great job. So Thank I clap you. for you yeah. too. Thank Congrats. You. <laughs> right. So I said to myself that it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So I've tried the field, but I've tried my own. I know how much, how many times that I tried, but I failed. But mm -hmm. I keep on trying. I didn't give up. So I got to this level. Mm -hmm. My first wireless car, it cost me so much money. So I just consulted it. Then I took it to my school to show my principal my handwork. Mm -hmm. So when I took it there, my principal sees the first car that I consulted. She said that she will keep it in her office in memory of me. So anytime that she sees it, she will know that she have a good student like me. I appreciated it. So another one, I consulted a helicopter that flies. You know, she can fly like 300 kilometers above the ground. Mm. So I took it to the school and I showed them how everything worked, both remote, everything. So my school did the same thing and they took it and they gave it back. My people said the helicopter will be in the school also. So anytime they see it, they will know that they have a good student like me. I appreciated it because till today, all these things are at the school. I've left the school, but my memory is still there. So how do you know what wires would do what? You know, like, how do you know that this, if you put this yellow wire here and mm. this blue one is going to result to something? How do you mm. know that? I just learned all this thing off head because once you look at it, you just know the functions. Once you look at each wire, you yeah, know the, the functions. functions. Because this red and black wire, mm. the red one is positive, the black one is negative. So positive, you go to positive, negative, you go to negative for correct current to flow. But if you put it wrongly, that is positive and negative, it will spark and it will burn every electron that is in the car. So that's why anytime I connect all this electrical aspect, I'm very careful because any mistake can spoil the whole connection in the vehicle. Okay, so tell us the parts. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so, this is the antenna. You use this to move far away and then reverse back because the antenna is connecting the signal. Okay. Yeah. So this is the condenser. This is the capacitor. Yeah. This is the resistor. This is the battery. The battery, the work is that it powers the whole engine and the whole electron to be working. So. The battery supplies the car with energy, which is used to move around. This is the battery, this is the laptop batteries. So this is the sensor. This is the switch for owning and offing it. You can off it to the switch and you can on it to the switch. So these are the wires that pass electricity around the whole vehicles. These are the shock observers. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did you create that one? It's some plastic company that helped me because mm. it's plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Have you gone to Innocent? Have you ever considered no, going to Innocent no, Motors? I've not gone to you. Wait is that? I've not, I've, not, I've not seen any person, any person who can link me because I cannot go there to see them. Why not? I know that all these big men, they won't allow you to just see them just like that without giving you an appointment. But if I think I, you should let go of your fears and attempt to, just like the way I saw in the airport. I've, I've, been to go, I've been to the government house before, but the security guard, uh, they said that I should not come inside. That's, mm. The government did not, the government did not give me an appointment, so I was begging them at um, Okanambra State, Government House of Okanambra, so they said that they are not going to allow me inside. So I just say, let me just come to Lagos State, so that any person that knows the value of my handwork will just help me. Mm. So that's why I came to the airport, because I know that some people that have been outside the country have, you know, they will know the value of it. Mm. You know, so that's why I came to the airport and I met you. <laughs> so I've not been to all these groceries in the same company because I know they have so much gas and before you see them, you know. No, I, I would say know. try it. Um, you know, there's no error in trying. Okay. So c can you drive? Yeah, I cannot drive, but if you give me a car key, I can drive a car. Yeah, because some people don't learn how to drive, but they can drive due to the experience they have had for, for some years. So have I you can, driven a car before? Yeah, but this one, so I've just driven a car once, but I didn't come out on the main road or express to drive. I just drive around the street. But it's an automatic car, Siana. I just drive. You know. I was even surprised that I drive it. I didn't know that I can make it. But due to I have had some, uh, some, you know, some experience both of, the, of this electric car, so that's the experience that I used to drive the big one. Where do you hope to see yourself in the next, say, 10 years? I'd like to see myself in the next four or five years in my own company, you know, where I can employ workers that work for me. In my own automobile company, where I can assemble or construct brand new car with my own car, with my own name branded on it, like Innocent Toyota Mercedes. Yeah. So I have my own name in my own car, in my own production. So you have like Chi Emilia uh -huh. Vincent Obi? Or Vincent Obi. Uh -huh. So it's my name, it's my own company. So whatever I like, I'm going to give you its name. Yeah. Congratulations in Thank advance. So with people like the young 18-year-old Vincent Chiemelia Obi, Nigeria can be sure of having its own electrical cars built by Nigerians, for Nigerians, and of course, for the world at large. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye with Stories from the Slow.